Hello boys and girls, today we're going to talk about fractions and decimals. We've been talking about that um, over the last couple days. Um, fractions, simply remember, are just that line, and if I put a fraction up there, that represents one-fourth. That's the fraction. And then a decimal might be 0.25. And believe it or not, this decimal here is the decimal equivalent of one-fourth, and you'll learn more about that um, as we go through this. Uh, but one-fourth is a fraction, 0.25 deals with the decimal. So we're going to be talking about fractions and decimals today. Um, first of all, one thing you need to know, um, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger, hopefully you can see that a little bit better. A decimal is a number that uses place value and a decimal point to show part of a whole. Remember we talked about if I give you 1.38, this number here is a part of the whole. Okay? Or if I did it as 1 or 2.3, 2, 5, that 2, 5 is a part of the next number, okay? So anything to the right of the decimal is a part of the whole, part of the whole, okay? So pretty simple there, part of the whole. That's all we're talking about. Anything to the right of the decimal is a part of a whole, because remember, we're working towards anything here. We want to get it to be 100 so that it would be equal to one whole and move forward, okay? So dealing with that, we're just simply talking about a decimal as a number that uses place value and a decimal point to show part of the whole. Okay, so let's look at, um, real quickly, let's just go ahead and look at these two grids. What do you notice different about the two grids as you look at them? Well, you should see over here that there are no lines going down. This is just literally one huge whole, right? One big piece of the pie. And if I were to simply sit there and color this entire one in, this would be represented as be represented as one whole. And I'd write that as a fraction as one over one, because that entire piece has been filled in. And then as a decimal, it'd be written as, remember, anything to the left of the decimal, okay, is a whole number. So it'd be 1.0 because we've represented this as one whole piece. Okay? But over here, all I've done is I've drawn lines. 10 lines going across. So I've got 10, or I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10, this is dealing with tenths. So each one of this whole piece here is 1 tenth. So 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, 10 tenths. 10 tenths would be equal to, of course, one whole again. If I filled all of those in, then we'd be back to one whole. In this case, though, it says read it as one-tenth. So one-tenth would be this whole section filled in here, all the way down, which would represent one-tenth. That's how we read it. We write that as a fraction, it's just like it says, one-tenth, one over ten. As a decimal, it's written as point one. Because remember, we went back and we looked at, thinking about our place value chart, from the right of the decimal point, we have tenths, and then we have hundredths, right? So this is that tenth. So it says one-tenth, so we write it as point one. Now, if I scroll down further, we've changed it a little bit. Instead of having the lines just going down, I've now added lines going across. So we have ten going across, ten going down. Gives us a total of one hundred. So there are one hundred squares in our grid, okay? If I were to color in just one, of these squares, how many squares have I colored in? You got it, I've colored in one square. So one out of a hundred has been colored in. So we'd write that fraction then as one over 10. And as I write that as a decimal, now remember it's different though because we said the decimal and then we have tenths and then we have hundredths, right? Well, are there any tenths in this case? Oops, excuse me, one hundredth. Write that as 100, not 1 tenth. If I'd written it as 1 tenth, it would have been just like it was up here. So I'm sorry about that, boys and girls. That was my mistake. 1 over 100, because that's what it is. We're dealing with hundreds. I'm sure some of you caught me on that one, which was good, paying attention. But we've colored that in. We've only got 1 out of 100. So in this case, the decimal is going to be written like this. Do we have any tenths? Do we have a whole column yet? No. So that's going to be a 0. But we do have 100, so we're going to write it as a 1. So the decimal here is written as 0.01, okay, 0.01, okay, so that's how you can see it on that one. Let's go ahead and look at, do a little review here. 
Now, if you look at these, how many, we're, we're, what are we dealing with here? Are we dealing with tenths or are we dealing with hundreds? Right, we're dealing with tenths. How many tenths have been colored in? Four of them have been colored in, and we're dealing with tenths, so it would be 4 over 10. Or we'd also write that as a decimal as 0.4. 4 tenths, 4 tenths. Here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Still dealing with tenths, so I've got tenths, and I've got 7 of them colored in, so it would be 7 tenths. As a decimal, it would be written as 0.7. Okay, 0.7. If I come down a little bit further, I've already done these for you. This is 9 have been shaded in, so we've got 9 over 10 or 0.9, so 9 tenths. And this also says 9 tenths. Okay, here I've colored in 2. I've got 2 over 10, 2 tenths, 0.2. Okay, so you can see that dealing with tenths. All right, so now let's deal with hundredths. Now we've got hundredths. So we've got a hundred squares. How many of the hundred squares have been colored in? One, two, three, four, five. So that would be written as five hundredths or point zero five because we're not dealing with tenths, we're now dealing with hundreds. So I have to say this as five hundredths, not five tenths. If it was five tenths, then five rows would be colored in and this number would be just simply point five. Here we've got 1, so that's 10, so we've got 9, still dealing with 100, so over 100, we've got 9 over 100, or 0 0.09, because we don't have tenths yet, so 0 0.09. So if we come down and look at these, same thing, I've got 24, 10, 24, 24 over 100, or 0.24, 24 hundredths, okay, over here. There are 74 cubes colored in, so 74 over 100, 74 hundredths, written as 0.74, okay? So, taking what you know here, I'd like you to do a little bit of work. This is the time where you're going to go ahead and look at this, and um, in just a second, I'm going to have you pause the video, and then go ahead and do the work. Now, if you're watching this for the first time, you're not going to do this right now. You're simply going to go back, start the video over, and start taking your notes, and you'll come back to this. If you're watching this for the second time, this is where you're going to pause the video. So you're going to hit pause. Do this in your notebooks as practice. Remember, this is all your practice. These are your practice problems that we always do, and then we'll do more of these tomorrow when you're in class. But these are your practice problems. So go ahead and stop the video now. Do the practice problems, and then hit play, and we'll see how you did. All right, so go ahead and hit pause. Great, you've hit pause, you've actually unpaused it, you've come back, so now let's talk about it. Um, so looking at this, this says 62 hundredths. So if I'm writing this as a fraction, I know it's going to be 100 is going to be on the bottom, and 62 is going to be on the top. And if I'm writing it as a decimal, I've got decimal, and I've got to have 100, so I know I'm going to have to have two numbers here, 62, so I'd write it as 0.62. 62 hundredths, this also says 62 hundredths. This says 2 tenths, so I know I'm going to be doing with tenths. How many of them are there? 2, and we'd write that as a decimal as 0.2, or 2 tenths, 2 tenths. Down here it says 14 hundredths, so I know the bottom line underneath is going to be hundredths, on top is going to be 14. I'd write that as 0.14, okay, 0.14. Over here, write each fraction as a decimal. Two hundredths would be written as 0.02. Three tenths would be written as 0.3, because it's three tenths. And 45 hundredths would be written as 0.45. Okay? So hopefully you did this. Hopefully you got it correct. If you didn't, go back and watch the video again. See what you're maybe confusing or not sure about and uh, then we'll go from there. So hopefully you got a lot out of it. This is Mr. Brewer, and as always, you've been flipped.